What's up guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I cannot do my makeup and talk at the same time. So I'm going to be doing a clown look for you guys using my James Charles Morphe palette. Um, but before we begin, I'm going to stare at this hair and wonder what the hell I'm supposed to do with it. Does anybody else have a widow's peak and not know what the hell to do with that hair? Yeah, same girl, same. But you know, we'll just tuck it away for now and um, get on with this makeup tutorial. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, bitch. <laughs> okay, so the first color I'm going in is called Punch Me, and I'm just putting that all over my lid just for a base color. Okay, so now I'm taking No Beans and Boutique, and I'm putting that all in my crease. Okay, so now taking the color black, or otherwise known as spooky, in this palette, um, I started packing that into my outer corner, and then I was like, hold up, I don't really like that look. So I started just packing it all on my lid, and yeah, what better way than to just make it look like you got punched in the eye, am I right? Alright, so going in with those same colors I used for my lid and I'm just smudging it underneath my lash line and really just smoking this out because you really want to look like you got punched in the eye, you know? Oh god, this is such a good look on me, but this is me going in on my waterline with black eyeshadow. I use that because I just find it sticks better than using like um, an eyeliner or something, so. And now for the fun part. So here I am drawing the triangles underneath of my eye. I'm just using a gel liner with a very, very fine brush to do this. Um, and then at the end, I think I just stuttered a little bit, but at the end, you will clean up with concealer if you have any mess ups. Okay, so here I am now cleaning it up with some concealer. I struggled with this so much because every single time I would put my brush on the black, it would just smear everywhere and I just got so frustrated. But it's fine if you're like a perfectionist like me, just let it go because this look doesn't have to be perfect. And yeah, it'll look great no matter what. <laughs> Okay, so now doing the triangles above my brows, I basically just eyeballed this and looked to see where the point was from the bottom triangles and tried to match it to the top ones as well. Concealer, concealer, concealer saves your life. Here we are using it again. I cannot explain what I just did with my tongue. Nope. Okay, so now after concealing, here I am just going back in with the gel liner and extending those points on the triangle. Is this completely pointless for me to be narrating this right now? I feel like you guys can see clearly what I'm doing, but hi, I'm here. Okay. 
So now I'm doing all the dots. I'm doing four of them. So two on the bottom and then two on the top. Okay, so now I'm just shadowing everything basically with the, I think it was the Boutique shadow is what he used, Boutique and No Beans mixed together. I just used that same shadow to go in around both of those triangles, not both, all four of them, and create some dimension, some shadows, some spookiness. Okay, so now going in with the same gel liner that I've been using, I'm just lining my lips and I'm going to extend my lips as well. You guys will see here in a bit how I do it, but um, my camera is about to die, so it's going to switch over to the phone camera in case you're wondering. So just bear with me. I'm sorry, but at least I still recorded it, right? <laughs> it's such a dramatic change. <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's me freaking out because my phone stopped recording and it didn't get that little bit of me. Yep, right there. That's what you gotta do. You know that whole thing? You, yep. So do that and then fill it in and um, put on some red lipstick, girlfriend, and you'll be ready to party. Okay, so I thought I was done, but I'm not. I wanted my um, shadowing to be more red, so I took that, I don't even know what Kylie Jenner palette that is, the burgundy one, and there's like a red in there, so I used that, and I just kind of put it back all over the shadowing to make it more red. And then with my lips, as you can tell, I like went in around the corners with the black um, liner, and then I put the red lipstick over it, and it blended much better than just having red and then a black line so all right guys so that is it for this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already baby hit that subscribe button down below and join the wit fam love to have you here if you guys recreate this makeup look tag me on instagram i'd love to see it and i hope you guys have a happy halloween